Hey, Garrel here. I was inspired to do a video by some fellow YouTubers. I've been doing some basic modelling in Autodesk 123 Design and struggling a bit. It might be me not knowing how to use the software, but I saw Joel, the 3D printing nerd, doing a few videos. One making the um, sprinkles catcher using OpenSCAD, and the second one making a whiteboard holder for his wife. And it seemed to work in a way that my brain understood. So I decided to have a go at it, and while learning the language, how language works, in about an hour, managed to mock up this. It's a little holder for my speakers, there's two of them, um, keeps my speakers off the desk, and out the road. So, I thought that was quite good. And then, um, Angus from Maker's Muse, also put up a video with about how 3D printing should be doing something useful rather than just printing trinkets, which I agree with. Um, he made a little holder for his um, Red Bull in his car, and I thought that's a really reasonably simple task to do. Um, and I thought it'd be a good idea to do the same thing in OpenSCAD so people can compare. If others do the same in other tools, people could have a look, and next thing you know, there's a simple item, I think it's a little holder, done in different tools that people can look at and make a decision on what looks easiest to them or what they can work with. So, let's fire up OpenSCAD. Let's create a new document. We have a document. So, good thing is, Angus put up on his thing the dimensions, so we have a cylinder, which has a height of 50 millimeters, and it has a radius of 39.5. Oops, I've got the bracket. And we can render that out, and we have a nice big cylinder. Now, and then at the inside, so we're going to do another cylinder. I'm noting I'm using the radiuses because Angus was using the radiuses. If we used D instead, we could have the diameter and put that in so we wouldn't have to halve everything. So, whoops, 27 for the inside one. Now, noting I'm keeping the height the same, you'll see why in a little bit. Now, I want to take one away from the other so we get the hollow it out. So, we're doing a difference from the outside cylinder. Actually. Now, you'll see how it's all funny there. And on the other side as well, that's because those two planes, with the difference is, is exactly the same. Now, we want to leave a base in there, and we also don't want to have the plane matching, because otherwise things won't print properly. So we will do a translate. So, which will move the other cylinder. Now, we're not moving in the extraction. We are not moving in the Y direction, but we are moving by 3 millimeters downwards. Because this will be easier for me at the moment with this one. In the Y direction. Oops. And if we then redo that, we now have what appears to be solid top here. And looking at from the bottom, we have a nice hollowed out cylinder with a free mill bottom. Which is nearly the same as what Angus had. But Angus had sloping down in so that any spilled drink would go in there. So to do that we're going to have to do another difference. Now 
now with another cylinder which we'll just do is a height of 20 a now you might be wondering how I'm going to do this with a cylinder we can actually do the radius at the top and the radius at the bottom and it will change between them so we do a radius of 1 for one end of it is 39.5 so the same as the outside and then we'll do a radius 2 and we'll make it equal 1 and if we preview that that doesn't look right does it so let's move it slightly And there we go. We now have the same thing as what Angus had. Now, one thing to note, it looks all faceted. My computer's reasonably old, so I'm doing most of the stuff rendered um, with not many facets on there. But we can... Oh, enough it's number of facets on there. Now note you can up it higher than what I'm doing, I'm just doing it to this level because my computer is not that great. Now we're just doing quick um, previews of it at the moment, we're going to do a render to do it properly, my computer will turn away on this, there we go, that looks fine, so we will save that uh, export, sorry, it's not save it, export it out as an STL. Let's actually put it somewhere easy to find on the desktop. Minimize that down, we have the Red Bull fall on the desktop. Open up Cura. And it's upside down. And we have a nice cylinder with sleeping sides, all ready to print. Now, I don't have a Toyota Echo, unlike Angus. I also don't drink Red Bull, so this is absolutely useless, useless to me, so I'm not going to print it off, but it gives you an idea of how it works. Um, there we go. And last thing is, what you're printing? <laughs>